Ariel, I'm straight and for the first time in 21 years, I found another girl attractive, but not sexually. I'm attracted to her, but I can't ever picture going down on her. Am I like, half gay? I can't even stand my own vagina, how am I supposed to eat someone else's? Grab a pillow, and lay down. Good morning, girlfriends, boyfriends, and everyone else in between! So, there are many different types of attraction that are found in this thing we call life. There is sexual attraction, there is romantic attraction, there is aesthetic attraction, which is basically like, oh, you look so sexy, but I don't want to touch you or kiss you or marry you. I just, I just really like the way you look. Believe it or not, there are plenty of bisexuals and lesbians who are also not fans of the vagina. But on the flip side, there are plenty of them that worship it. Does that make you any less gay or bi? No, we don't think so. As we said, there is romantic orientation. I don't personally doubt that I could fall in love with a man. I don't call myself bi-romantic because I've never experienced it and don't think that I will. So label yourself as you wish. As Piper says, some people are the boob-touching kind of lesbian. And that's okay, as long as you find someone who doesn't mind. <laughs> Life is all about putting our own pieces together to define who we are to the world. Labels that define us, unite us, and make us all unique. So is it possible to label yourself as straight but be attracted to the same sex? Yes. A single statement of being straight, bisexual, lesbian, gay, pansexual isn't everything that defines us on the inside. We are all different in so many possible and even unimaginable ways. We are raised to define ourselves as our sexual attraction. We're never really taught how much further attractions can actually go. And then of course we tack a label onto it and restrict our actions so we feel accepted and like we belong. So what I have to say about all of this is that instead of picking a label that you feel best defines who you are, why not just go with it and do what makes you happy in the moment? Now what if you find yourself romantically attracted to someone but not sexually attracted to them? In a world where we tend to associate romantic attraction with sexual attraction, it can be very difficult to deal with one without the other. Rather than accepting one of the labels that best represents you now, do what makes you happy and feel unique every day. We weren't meant to stand still and live within limits. We as humans are limitless, endless, and boundless. What defines us today could easily change tomorrow. Ding! Fucking turn this thing off! We also did a video over on Shannon's page, so make sure you click right here and down in the description below. If you're coming over from their channel, make sure you subscribe, and I will see you guys back here on Monday with a brand new video.